Be able to start on that one. Let me smiley. Let me smiley. Are we there? Hey guys, so we are live on Facebook here, Instagram here. Um, we'll give it a few seconds for folks to jump in. Uh, I'm Amy J, host of the Chasing Dreams podcast, and this is my mom. Hello. Amani, Sarah, Amachi, um, uh, Amani, Auntie, whatever you want to call her. She is going to be making mango curry today, so we're going to turn it over to her on this Palm Sunday. Happy Palm Sunday and Holy Week. Uh, Mumby, go ahead. Show them how to make mango curry. Hello. Uh, welcome to a pinch, a pinch of Kerala. Pinch of curry. So I just want you to uh, enjoy how I'm going to make the mango curry. Okay, I just want you to see the mango. You know, I cut it already. You can see that. You know, I cut it small pieces. And these are the in these are the ingredients that you like to take it. This is onion, green chili. You can use it according to your taste. You know, sometimes it's hot. Sometimes some people like to have very hot, mild, or whatever you like it. You know, so I took two green chili. You know, I cut it in half. If you like to take it after cooking, you can remove it. This is ginger, curry leaves. Optionally, you know, if you don't have to, if you don't have curry leaves, then don't keep worrying, oh, I didn't put curry leaves, but it's optional. Some house has it, you know, which we have already. And this is a uh, garlic. This is like a six clove. Garlic, I cut it in small pieces. And this also, ginger, you know, this like a, uh, one and a half inches ginger, you know, I took it, I cut it in small, small pieces. And, you know, if you don't want to cut it with your hand, what you can do is you can, you know, put it in the food processor and make it smaller pieces. And onions, this is one onion that I cut in small, small pieces. That you have to cut it though. Otherwise, you know, it don't look nice. So these are the ingredients. And the other things, you know, I have is coriander powder. And of course, you know what this is, turmeric. Everybody use turmeric, you know, it's good for you. And this is a little bit chilly, you know, because I'm adding two uh, green chili, and according to your taste, you know, again, you can make it, this is uh, one teaspoon, you know, I didn't take it, a whole lot of uh, green chili, uh, green, um, I mean, red chili. And this is uh, garam masala, you know, you have to mix it in, and this is homemade. I can show you that later, how to make, how to make the uh, homemade uh, garam masala. And this is black pepper. Okay, these are the ingredients, and of course you need oil. This oil, you know, you can use any uh, kind of oil. This is corn oil, or you can use the olive oil. But I'm going to use the corn oil this time, though. So what you need is you need a uh, two tablespoon of oil, which I'm going to put it in the pot. And again, according to your taste. You can add one and a half teaspoon or um, whatever amount you like, but I put two tablespoons. I'm going to wait till it's hot. Then after it's getting hot, I'm going to put ginger first. It's getting, you know, it's getting hot. I hope you, I, the most important thing in cooking is, you know, you have to, you have to know, you have to be, you know, uh, the passion for cooking. And anybody can cook. And don't tell me you don't know how to cook. But if you have the interest, you'll make it. Uh, I didn't know how to cook when I came to America. But I keep trying and trying and trying and I came to this point. So guys, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. Jamie and I are monitoring. We can ask mommy. Any questions you have, she'll be happy to answer. Okay. Right. So now the oil is getting hot, so I'm going to put the ginger first. And of course this is a non-stick, so you need this uh, plastic. It's getting cooked. Okay, after ginger cooked, I'm going to put the onions. At the last thing, I put the garlic. Oh, comments are off. All right, hold on. We saw the comments are off. Figure that out. Comments. I'm putting the ginger right now. Okay, never mind. 
cool. And I'm gonna put that green <coughs> onion, green chili. Mommy, Josh wants to know how do you look so beautiful while you're cooking, mommy. Josh asked, how how do you look so beautiful while you're cooking? <laughs> you know the answer. <laughs> Amy, can you show us inside the box? Okay. Sure, and we'll we'll move inside. Figure out. We're still learning this, so. It takes a few minutes to get it brown, so it's cooking. Once it gets slightly browned, I'm going to put the garlic and the um, curry leaves. Mummy, how long does it take to brown usually? Uh, it will take like uh, six, seven minutes. Six to seven minutes. Six minutes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mummy, can we use yellow onions instead of red onions? Oh, you can, sure. It doesn't have to be red. But I happen to have the red onion. And yeah. of course, red onion give more taste. Please don't go out just to get yellow onions. Stay at home and use what you have. But you can use any onion, so. But yeah. I always think for, um, you know, this is okay. Though. The red or uh, white onion is perfect. Okay. Hey, shout out to all of you guys watching. Mommy, you're using canola oil, right? Yeah, this is uh, uh, corn oil. Corn oil, sorry. Okay. Or you can use the olive oil, which right here. It's a little bit healthier. But I did not use that, but you can use it. You know, I just uh, brought it to show you. Mommy, why ginger before onion? Because uh, the, uh, oh, I like to use it that way, because ginger, um, it takes a little longer to cook. It takes a little longer to cook. I never knew that. So that's why she puts the ginger before the ginger onion. Ginger first, yeah. And put the garlic first, you know, otherwise it will get burned. There so you I'm have. going to put, the, I'm going to put the garlic right now, and the curry leaves. Mommy, where curry, do you get curry leaves? Curry leaves, you know, I have it at home. Or, or you can buy it from the Indian store, or you can buy it from the Korean store, or you can buy it from, and of course it's optional, you know. So you can make mango curry without curry leaves, but it's always give a taste. Uh, for those who just joined, she's using corn oil, not coconut oil. Not coconut. No. Not right now. So corn oil right corn now. Corn oil. Thanks, Ann, for answering questions. So it's getting brown. And in the comments, if you leave, uh, if there's a recipe you want us to show you, let us know. Mommy oh. is staying at home for about two months at least, so there's going to be more videos to come. Oh, more cooking coming up too. So make sure you like and subscribe or click follow to A Pinch of Kerala. But if you like any recommendation, like, you know, what you like to uh, learn, how, you know, what to cook, you know, please let me know. So, Mommy, uh, Diana was asking, can we show a video on how to take care of uh, curry leaves indoors? You know, so I think what we'll do with that one is we'll bring the expert in, uh, the joy uncle, and we'll do a video with him to show how to care for curry leaves. Oh, we can show you that. That's no problem. We've been having curry leaves for so many years. So we can do that. Now it's getting brown. Uh, okay, good fish biryani. Achapong and banana chips. Yes, we can do both of those videos. Oh, yes, sure. That's one of our favorites. See, now you can see it's getting brown. It's very, very simple uh, <laughs> cooking. JV, that's chacha to me, not even dad. So there. And Banana. again, the oil, you can have it a little, little bit less than what I put, or you can put more, and oil always give taste. So for the banana chips, we're going to have to bring in a special guest, uh, as the, the sous chef does a lot of the work. So we will do that. Uh, yes, the thin ones, it'll be. Who's gonna eat the tasty mango curry? Who's gonna eat it? Jebby wants to know. Who? Who's gonna eat the Ara mango curry? Oh, Ara we, oh, we are going to eat. <laughs> we all are going to eat. 
I mean, yeah. especially now it's the Lent season, right? We cannot eat meat. So mango curry is one of the things you can eat with the chapati, you can eat with the rice, or you can even eat with the bread. You can Indeed, yes. Naan or anything. Now it is browned already, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the coriander powder. You know, it is um, one and a half tablespoon. So I'm going to add that in the mixture. And of course, turmeric. This is uh, one uh, one tablespoon, and only one teaspoon of um, red chili because it's very hard, you know. Because you can put it more or less, you know. But it is only one teaspoon I took, and this is um, black pepper, half teaspoon, because I put two chilies already, and this is a garam masala. So. Jason, to answer your oil question, it's corn oil. See now how it is cooking? Okay. Always make sure that don't get it you burned. You first, JD. Don't so, get it burned. Don't so, get it burned, please. We'll turn the heat. Yeah, I turned the heat down. So now I'm going to put the mango. So you see the mango? I cut it in small pieces, though. So I'm going to da add that right now. So mommy, there's a question asking, what goes well with mango curry? What do you make with mango curry? What, what, what else goes well with mango curry? That's what the rice. Rice. Rice, chapati, naan, and the bread. Chicken curry. Oh, chicken. What can you eat with it? Plain oh. kutan or where in the? What other kutans? Oh, this is, oh, you can, yeah, this is one of the side dish. You can, uh, you, you can eat it with the chicken curry, thorin, melkurti, or any, anything. This is one of the, one of the curry that we usually make it uh, during Lent season, since you cannot eat chicken or uh, beef or fish or anything like that. It's, it's very good with uh, chapati, naan, and even bread. You can eat with that. Because, you know, more items coming up, then you will see. Because you're going to add coconut milk and some half and half with it. So, Mommy, there's a question about the type of mangoes you use. Um, well, now, you know, this mango, you can buy it from the Indian store, the green mango. But you cannot get the meat, green mango, but a little bit ripe is okay, though. But this is a little bit ripe because I was not able to get the very green mango because it's not coming to the market these days. But you can use the very, the green mango, or even you can use the frozen mango, you know, uh, from the industry, if you cannot get the, you know, fresh green one. So we have, uh, we also had some frozen. Tell me, how many mangoes was this around? This was two. Two yeah. mangoes. You see the amount? Okay. So now it is going to cook a little bit. You know, you had a little time, so I'm going to add a little bit of water with it. Okay, so there was a question on the simple pyra thorin for Good Friday. Can we make a pyra thorin on Thursday? Yeah, we can. Okay, Jenny, yeah, we'll, we'll work that out. Did I miss anyone's question? Let me see. So I'm uh, going to add a little bit of water to cook. Can you see that? And of course, we didn't forget the salt. So I'm going to add the salt. So I'm going to cover it. Let it cook for maybe like a five, seven minutes. All right, guys. Any questions? Because we can also get those. Uh, why does she prefer? Yes, olive oil is okay. She she did mention that. Mommy, do you prefer corn oil or olive oil? No, no, I prefer corn oil. Why do you, which do you like more to in cooking? Um, you know, um, it doesn't matter though, you know, but I just happen to take the corn oil. That's mm. all. Yeah. But uh, again, with the oil, you know, I just want is an option. So she has cooked with olive oil for a healthier option. Healthy, yeah. Yeah. Heart problems and everything. But yeah. Since, but this time, I mean, I use both. But um, but this time, you know, this time I just use the right. Corn oil. Olive oil. Okay, if they use olive oil, it's okay though, oh, right? Yes. Yeah, perfectly fine.
So we also guys had some frozen mangoes that um, we had saved. So we used that as well. Hi, Ann. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We got six people over on Instagram. Or is this Facebook? I don't know. So 16 on Instagram. Six on Facebook, which is make cool. Sure, make sure that is... Um, or flipped. Make sure that you stir in between. How long do you let it cook for, mommy? So, like seven minutes. You know, oh. mango don't take too long to cook. So, you know, stir it between because ginger and garlic can have a tendency to stick at the bottom. <laughs> Is it six on Insta? I can't keep track. Do more videos during these live. Yes, we will do more videos, guys. So the other things you add is the coconut milk. The coconut milk, and you need a little bit of half and half. You see this? <laughs> this is what you need at the end. This will give you more taste, though. Coconut milk, you know how that is. <laughs> so I always give taste. So you need both. But again, if you don't have coconut milk, you can add half and half. If you don't have uh, half and half, you can just add the coconut milk. But if you add both, it give a little bit, you know, boost a little bit. So it give you more taste. So we are gonna do more uh, videos during the lockdown, but in the evenings. Because while mommy is two months at home, Jamie and Amy are working during the daytime. So. Her novice camera people. Our, her, her new camera <laughs> folks are going to do in the evenings. You have any questions so far? This is a very, very simple thing. You know? So what you need is you need an oil, you need ginger, garlic, green chili, onion, and curry leaves. Again, that's an option. A lot of people don't have curry leaves. And uh, don't think that, oh my God, you know, I cannot make, uh, uh, I cannot make uh, mango curry because I don't have uh, curry leaves. But you can make it though. Yeah, but always for Kerala cooking, <laughs> you need a little bit of curry leaves. Then I add a little flavor. Yes. So then, you know, once you saute that, then you add all the spices. You want coriander powder, um, red chili, you know, of course, a little bit, one teaspoon, then a half teaspoon of black uh, pepper, then a garam masala. That's a homemade, but again, you can buy it from the Indian store, Korean store, anywhere. But the homemade garam masala always give taste. And I'll show you that a little bit later, you know, how you make the garam masala. Um, so, mommy, there are some requests to do videos. Um, is there any substitution for coconut milk and half and half? You can add... If they milk. can't, if they don't have half and half and coconut milk, where in the jail? Oh, then you can add uh, our uh, whole milk. Whole milk. So the that's one milk. option. Yeah, you know, again, you know, uh, or uh, carnation milk. You know, you can buy that in the candle. Carnation milk. That's like a whole milk though. So you can add that. Taste, you know, taste and see. You'll see the difference. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Ajit Chechi, we love you too. She is cute. You guys are right. You know better than us. Uh, it's getting there. And of course, you know, you have to watch out. Don't get it brown. So she's lowering the temperature. Yeah, lowering this, uh, the gas. And this I'm going to open the can. So we're going to try and go live three times a week. Um, we, we will figure out the details. This was a spur of the moment done in 30 minutes kind of thrown together. So, you know, planning. But if you guys have recipes, let us know. Uh, the achapam and the banana chips won't be this week, but we can probably do the thorn. Oh, no. Jenny, what was your request? Pyre. Uh, pyre thorn. Yeah. So we'll probably do that this week. The pyre? The green pyre? The red pyre? Jenny, which Jenny, pyre do which you want? Pie? Oh, yeah. We she, have both. Mommy was in a... Because actually, I, I have ready for the green pyre. I always say, maybe I can do, do that tomorrow. Yes, we can do, Or maybe we'll do that Wednesday, Mommy. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh, wait. It's, it's Holy Week. So we'll probably have to do it. So this week, guys, will be uh, different. We'll probably record around uh, 6, 536, because of Holy Week, before evening prayers. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. But we'll let you know when. So... Do let us know. Yeah, mommy was in Asadi this morning, even though we were at home. She was ready for Palm Sunday. Yeah. 
Just check and see the mango. You see mango almost cooked. How do you so, know? So, you know, you just take a piece and just... Uh, see, I can see that. Hard. Don't burn yourself. <laughs> <already>. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's tender now. So you yeah. want it tender? Yeah. So it's almost ready. Not quite it's yet. Almost ready. Yeah. Okay, mommy. Jenny wants the Good Friday thought. Oh, okay. So yeah. mommy makes cutlet too. So that's why there's. It's it's it depends, but yeah, she can make that. We'll do that on. Um, we'll probably do that on Tuesday. So yeah. Tuesday, Jenny. So now I'm gonna add the coconut milk. <laughs> you see that? I'm sorry, that was hilarious. And you, you know, you can add any coconut milk. Now, see the difference? How the color changes? And also, I'm going to add a little bit of. Uh, you see that? I mean, how much do you think you added? I think that's like a half a cup. Okay. Yep. You guys are going to have to enjoy these recipes uh, this way. It's going to take us some time to write them all down. So now, um, so let it boil. Not keep boiling, 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 boiling. Just like a little bit bubbles. That's all you need. Because, you know, you don't want the coconut milk and the half and half boil it over. So once that is get boiled, then you're going to... You're gonna um, tamper it. We're gonna. Oh yeah, <laughs> we did this before, Robbie. What was it called? We did it with James. Oh right, not me. Look at me. Um, we're going to. It's not a roast. Just roast. We're gonna roast, but the it's tamper. it's kind. Of, what that's did you call it with me? The kaduarakam. Yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Whatever that is in English. <laughs> Well, we had it. I think the tampering, you know what you need is? Yeah. The kaduga, the mustard seed, onions, and red chili, and uh, again, the curry leaves, and again, it's an option. Don't, please, don't worry about, oh my God, I don't have the curry leaves, I cannot make it. But, you know, we have it, so I thought of having it. Maybe you can put one, one string. Hey, for all those who are watching, if you want recipes, Please let us know in the comments that it's uh, that's something you want because otherwise it's gonna be hard to get the cooker to, to write. Tempering! Diane, thank you. Oh, nice. Tempering, mommy, that's what it's called. Tempering. Temp tempering. tempering. You know, we don't know all those fancy words. That's why we got you guys as friends. I guess we learn each other. Thank you, Gina. Tempering. We got that earlier. Is it festering with spices or blooming with spices? I don't know. Blooming sounds right, too. I'll roast you first, JV. Is it called festering? Tempering. Yes, we are covering. So Jamie. Jamie's not even showing what be. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you First time so far. employee of a pinch of carol. <laughs> Yes, Anne, that's exactly what we're doing. Did I say that right? So now, yeah, now you can see this boiling. Look so at the that, edges. Yeah. So that's all you need. You have to keep on boiling too much, though. Okay, so I'm going to cover that. Yes, thanks, Anne. So what I'm going to do is, this is the tamper. So you are going to add... What kind of oil is that, Mummy? This is the coconut oil. Okay. And again, you know, this is coconut oil, give a little more taste, but you can add the same corn oil or you can have this um, olive oil. So I'm going to uh, add a one tablespoon. Only one tablespoon. Mummy, what if you don't have this bathroom? Oh, no, no. you can add. <laughs> you can <laughs> use any pan. You can use any um, frying pan. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have to be this. And I happen to have this, that's why. 
I mean, she has more than that, too, but, you know, it's right there. Next time I'll use a regular frying pan. <laughs> yeah. So let the, uh, let the oil boil. Then I'll put this um, mustard seed. How do you know that mustard seed? How do you know when the is ready? I mean, how do you know when the enna is ready? Oh, the, you can see that it's boiling. Or you can put your hand over on top of it. But be careful when no, you put your hand. Oh, no, please. A lot of y'all with, with jobs that require your hands, so you know. All right. Uh, just, just put. So, so for those who are just joining in, we are making mango curry today. Uh, we're towards the end. We're tempering now. So let me just put the mustard seed down in yeah. there. So I'm putting the mustard seeds and now you can see the bubbling. See here? So once it starts bubbling, then you can put the onions. So this one non-stick, so you can use a regular uh, teaspoon. Respect your pots and pans, folks. And always, you know, the, don't get burned. It's very sensitive. I hope you learned something today. Well, I mean, if they don't do this, that's okay, though, right? Yeah. yeah. And this, this also, if you don't want too much oil, you have to do this. You know, you're happy with that, that's fine. And it will take a few minutes to get the audience brown. For any Indian cooking, ginger, garlic, onion, curry leaves, green chili, coconut oil, co um, coconut milk, that's one of the very basic things. And again, if you don't have that, you don't have to, you can buy, if you don't have the ginger, fresh ginger, you can uh, buy from the Indian store this um, garlic paste, uh, ginger paste, you can add that also. Now I'm going to do is, I'm going to add a three whole um, red chili. That sure was whole. Then I'm going to add Nancy, uh, you're on point. She would say that it adds to the extra rajit. Mommy, well, how many onions did you use? Uh, this is only very, uh, maybe like uh, less than one, one fourth. For the tempering? The tempering, yes. Yeah. But for the... You don't need a whole lot. Did we use onions for the mango curry? Yeah, I used one onion. One whole onion for the one mango curry. Onion. And again, don't get it burned and don't get burned. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to add it to the mango curry now. Oh, that just sounds so yummy. Yeah. And then it gets mixed in. I'm going to mix it and put it in the pot. And of course you have to see if enough salt is, so I'm going to check that right now. Mmm, a little bit more salt. I'm going to add a little bit more, maybe like a one-fourth uh, teaspoon. But really guys, it's salt for your taste. I got it. Tastes so good. A new spoon. Oh my God! It tastes <laughs> very good. 
I want you to try this. I mean, they're very simple. Like I said, I can go over again. What you need is a little bit of corn oil. You know, two tablespoons I added. But if you don't want to add a two tablespoons, you can do it. Add one and a half tablespoons of corn oil or olive oil or anything. It's okay. Or if you want to add coconut oil, that's fine too. Like I said, coconut oil always gives a lot of tips. But I added corn oil. Olive oil is okay. Then what you need is ginger, garlic, onions and the curry leaves and the green chili and you know, I put two but you can add more or you can add one you know that's all for the taste then what you need is coriander powder and uh, red chili powder and uh, turmeric and uh, garam masala then uh, what else you need is the for tampering you need uh, mustard seed a little bit like small cut onions and curry leaves and um, and uh, uh, red chili, you know, I added three. So that's all you need, and of course, you know, coconut milk and a half and half, if you don't have coconut milk, you can add just a half and half. If you don't have both, you can add whole milk or 2% milk. And if you add 1%, you know, it gives only that taste, you know, so. But you can cook with that also. Hey guys, thank you so much thank for you tuning so much in. Thank you for watching. And, um, you know, if you can request, you know, whatever cooking you need, but once we start eating meat, like a chicken curry, beef, fish curry, fish fry, we can show you all that. So guys, if you have any questions, yes, we will save it on Instagram. We're going to figure out how to make it an IGTV thing. Um, and we got to figure out how to save it on Facebook Live. If you have any questions or requests, send it to us over at A Pinch of Kerala and we will get to you. All right. Uh, so mommy's going to put this in the dish. If you have any questions, we'll take them now. And if you want the recipe, message us or go to a pinch of and um, sign up. Have a blessed Holy Week, too. Ooh, look at it go. So this is the this is what it looks like. Yum. Yum. This is a, uh, like I said, this will go with the rice. This will go with chapati, naan, bread, or even appam. You know, when you make appam in the morning. You can, you know, eat with this too. Thanks for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. You're in the tooth.